Hi folks, in this video we're diving into how to create a cinematic night lighting setup with lightning and thunder effects using Ultra Dynamic Sky Neural Engine. The scene features a dramatic atmosphere with our adventure character standing in an airplane hangar under stormy night sky. Now let's explore how to bring this scene to life. Alright guys, as you can see here is our sequencer, our character and thunders and lightnings are affecting the scene perfectly. So. As always, let's start from scratch and I'm going to delete the existing Ultra Dynamic Sky and Weather Blueprints and let's first of all bring the Ultra Dynamic Sky and the first thing that I'm going to do is to change the time of the day and set it in a way to have a night time. Let's change the project mode to cinematic. Scrolling down, the next thing is to simulate real moon. And the reason that I activated this option is to add a realistic moonlight effect to the scene. And then I am adjusting the longitude and latitude sliders to position the moon so it appears beautifully framed through the front windows of the anchor, adding an artistic and dramatic visual. And to make the moon even more prominent, I scaled it up for greater visibility. After, let's scroll down to deactivate the apply exposure settings option, which allows me to fully control the exposure through the post process volume instead. And finally, let's activate the volumetric fog option to enhance the atmosphere and depth, simplifying the stormy cinematic vibe. Now it is time to add the ultra dynamic weather. Now, in this blueprint, to refine the stormy atmosphere, I started by adjusting the cloud coverage slider to ensure the moon remains partially visible, maintaining the artistic composition. Since the scene is set in an interior space, I set the rain slider to zero to keep it dry inside. Next, I'm gonna increase the lightning and thunder slider and enable the thunder and lightning material override option, instantly bringing dynamic lightning effects into the scene. To enhance the ground visuals, I checked the material wetness option and added some wetness and subtle puddles to the ground, making the scene more visually appealing. And if you would like to learn more about adding wetness and puddles, check out the video linked in the card about. Now let's scroll up and here we have the lighting section. The first adjustment that I'm going to make is to increasing the lightning flash frequency to create a more dynamic storm effect. Then let's customize the lightning flashlight source color and for a slightly bluish tone to give the lightning a more dramatic and atmospheric feel. Now let's wait for the lightning and see, yeah, it's totally fine. Next, to fine tune the flash duration. I'm gonna adjust the lightning flashlight duration by lowering the minimum slider and raising the max slider, creating longer and more varied lightning flashes to added realism. Now guys, to keep things simple, we won't dive into all the parameters to avoid overwhelming you, but I encourage you to experiment with them to discover more possibilities. Our goal here was to achieve a dramatic and cinematic night lighting setup as quickly as possible. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.